What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with an off-meta Sandstorm team that features Gliscor. Now, when it comes to Gliscor, you don't really see this Pokemon too much. And when it comes to Sandstorm teams, you always think of Tyranitar and Garchomp. But like I said, we're using Gliscor. We also have Hippowdon and we have Houndstone for a nice little off-meta Sandstorm team. Now, let's talk about Gliscor a little bit more here. Gliscor is a ground and flying type Pokemon. So it is four times weak to Ice Boots. It has Water Terror type to kind of cover that. It's got Sand Belt. It's got the Bright Powder to dodge moves into Sandstorm. Then on top of that, it's got Tailwind, Dual Wing Beat, High horsepower and protect. Really like this move set. You got stab, you got speed control. You can protect and kind of waste out some turns. Hippowdon is going to be our Sandstream setter, and this Pokemon is here to just kind of stay on the field and pester around. It's got Rocky Helmet, it's got Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Sand Tomb to have constant damage at the end of every single turn, Slack Off for HP recovery, and last but not least, it has protect just like Gliscor. Houndstone is going to be the final Pokemon in our Sandstorm trio with Sand Rush, Double with Speed, Clear Amulet as its item, with Play Rough, Lash Respect, Shadow Sneak, and Protect. Actually, an underrated Pokemon within the Sandstorm, so really do like this Pokemon. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features two more Ghost Types and King Gambit. Now, King Gambit, just a solid physical attacker all across the board. Dragapult, same thing with the Choice Band, doing big time damage. And then we have Illusion Zoroak, which is a fun little tricky Pokemon with the Choice Scarf, and then you got U-Turn, Shadow Ball, Ice Wind, and Hyper Voice. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into match number one using this off meta sandstorm team first match coming at you guys going up against altaria the cloud dragon bird whatever you want to call it i'm pretty sure it's a cloud dragon because it is dragon type but dope pokemon all around they also have golden goat they got sneezer they got low kick so you don't see too much i believe it's a fighting and bug type then they got incineroar alongside with slow king now, I do like Clear Amulet Houndstone here. I think that's a great option for us. One, because it dodges Intimidate, and it can't be hit by Fake Out. So Houndstone, gonna come out here for a lead. I do like Hippowdon for the lead here as well, considering, I mean, if you're gonna Intimidate it, that's totally fine. It's kind of here just like going and saying to him away. So that's gonna be my play. And if you wanna Fake it out, you're honestly just gonna be taking more damage because of the Rocky Helmet. So I'm gonna go Houndstone. I am gonna end up going Gliscor. I think this is a solid, or not Gliscor, Houndstone and Hippowdon. I think it's a solid lead. Honestly, I kind of want to bring in Gliscor in the back end. Late game, just a solid Pokemon with the Bright Powder. Really thrives out in the Sandstorm, so I want that. And last but not least, you gotta go in with Dragapult, right? Probably faster than any other Pokemon besides like Unburdened Sneasler. Actually, Low Kick's kind of fast, isn't it? I'm a little scared of Low Kicks, but we'll go Dragapult. Dragapult's just a quick, nice big time physical attacker, especially with the Choice Span as a last Pokemon, it's just super strong. So we're leading Sandstorm Squad, Houndstone and Hippowdon. Hopefully we get to get after it. Hopefully grab ourselves a win here. But honestly, Houndstone's a little bit better late game rather than beginning of the game because of last respects, but I still like it here for a lead. We can always just swap it out if we want to, but Low Kicks is gonna be the lead alongside with Altaria. Now Altaria, I got player off to kind of deal with that. Um, Low Kicks, don't really know too much about it. I know it hits pretty hard, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, I think it's really like frail. I think it is frail. It is a, oh, it's bugging dark. Okay, now this changed everything. I thought it was fighting. You want to just terrestrialize into normal? Probably, right? Just drop a play rough into this slot. I'm gonna play rough up and do I just yawn? Do I slack off or do I sand tomb? I mean, ground won't have effect. You know, we're just gonna yawn into this uh, Altaria. Maybe force it to swap or either put it to sleep. So I like this play. Low kicks, I thought it was fighting. It's a dark bug that's pretty cool that's a cool type that's a cool type so i'm gonna end up terrestrializing just because i do not feel like dealing with like a sucker punch or something along those lines that's just gonna, just gonna do a big chunk of damage to me so i'm gonna terrestrialize my houndstone that's a little normal just to protect us from a bunch of different things he's gonna end up u-turn pivoting which is fine i mean i'm yawning into this slot you're gonna take some nice little rocky helmet damage and who are you gonna go into this could be incineroar flying out here I don't mind too much if it isn't Sonora. Like I said, I got clear amulet and Hippowdon's not really dealing a lot of damage. He's just kind of here, just pesting around. So Incineroar is going to come out here. No big deal. Um, I wonder what Altaria is doing here. I'm curious to see what that's about. But Intimidate does fly. We got clear amulet, Hippowdon. That's totally fine for us. I thought you were going to lead this. Playoff's going to launch. It's going to do minimal damage. It's not stab. And Will-O-Wisp is going to launch. Oh, you got Will-O-Wisp. All right, let's play. Let's play then. You want to you do that? We can play. Alright, so from here, I'm going to actually swap into Gliscor. I just feel like we get a bit more value out of Gliscor right now. 
and just save our Houndstone for, I guess, late game. I mean, it's burned, and we don't really feel like dealing with that. So I'm going to swap. Uh, you could end up burning me if you if you want to. The hip out on. But, I mean, again, this thing's kind of here just to kind of sit here and pester around. So I'm going to swap into my Glide Score, bring this bad boy out. And I'm just going to rock a Sand Tomb into this Incineroar slot. Into this lovely Incineroar slot. So we're trying to, like, set up these pesters and traps and yawns and sleeps and stuff. But I feel like they have a good team to just kind of, like, swap out. Like, with, like, Parting Shot, you turn All that good stuff. So Houndstone's going to swap. We'll see if Altaria wants to swap or just go to sleep. I hope it just goes to sleep. And Glide Score is going to fly through here. So I get out my Glide Score. He's going to end up with on the Altaria. That's fine by me. And you're going to go back into Low Kicks. Slow King's actually gonna come out here. So Slow King on the board. And Fake Out is gonna launch into Hippowdon. So Hippowdon with that, I think is going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. And Hippowdon's gonna flinch. And Cinnamon's gonna take a little bit of buff. It's actually slowly chipping up some damage here. And Slow King's also gonna take some damage. Now do I sand tomb Slow King rather than Cinnamon? I think I should. You could swap in Cinnamon into Altaria, but I'm just gonna go for high horsepower right into this slot. And let's go sand tomb into the slow king slot. Let's do it. Let's run it. Hopefully they attack Glide Square. I might want to end up swapping my hip out on, or even just like using slack off just to get HP recovery because Sandstorm's honestly ending soon. And I'd rather have it back, right? I'd rather have it back. So there's the withdrawal of Incineroar. We're gonna go back into Altaria. Hopefully it's low kicks. It's definitely Altaria though. Yeah, Altaria's gonna come back out here. Again, a lot of swaps going on here. A lot of swaps. Effects of weather are going to disappear. High horsepower is going to be gone, and I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about Cloud9, but Sandtomb's going to launch, which is great. Just because of the pester damage that's going to be flying around here. And Scald's going to launch into Glide Score, which actually does a really good chunk of damage. Thankfully, it doesn't hit to burn. So there's some nice damage. Um, I think from here, we just honestly just start chipping up onto this Altaria. I'm going to yawn it as well. The effects of weather are, are gone, so... Let's just yawn it. Let's double down to this Altaria as of right now. Dueling be going to fly here. Do minimal damage. Nothing crazy. And we'll go for a yawn. Because Glyscore's gone here. And you're going to Willow us me. That, that's fine. I mean, they're just pestering me. I still have Dragapult, which is actually really good. If I can just keep like pesting around and then have Dragapult come out here. Be good news for us. Yawn's going to fly. We're going to force you to swap. You're going to take out my Glyscore here. And Chili Reception coming out here. Why'd you use Chili Reception over Scald? I don't, it doesn't really make sense to me. I guess you want the swap because it's a Sand Tomb. That, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You probably go into Incineroar. Um, yeah, and you're just going to Intimidate me, which is okay. That's okay. Not too bad. Hmm. And from here, do we set up another Sand Tomb? I mean, Sand Tomb's probably our player. You're gonna fake out, is real question. You could fake out and KO the Glide Score. I could protect here. You could honestly just, like, protect and then, like, swap into, like, Houndstone here. Or even Dragapult. Getting out Dragapult's probably a player. Let's get out Dragapult here. We, we need some We need some offensive power, and right now... Right now, these guys just have us on the ropes. Let's be honest. They just have us on the ropes here. We're trying to pest around, but I mean, we're, we're not dying. We're going to die out here. But, um, we, we need some offensive power here. So there's that. Fake Out is going to launch into Glide Score slot. We do end up blocking it. And Altaria is going to go for what? Moon Blast. Oh, no. Luckily, we're able to soak really well. And Leftover is going to fly. So they still have Terra. Um, we still have Terra as well, which is really good. Right? I still have Terra, and Altaria's going to sleep because we go on that bad boy. Alright, so Altaria sleep. No, we don't still have Terra. Who do we use it on? Oh, yeah, Houndstone early on in the match. So, from here, I'm going to try to launch a high horsepower, and I guess I'll just go for Dragon Darts here. I'm cool with that. Glass score is minus one, but still, I like it. So, Dragon Darts going to fly here, do great damage into that slot. And great damage into Altaria. And as long as this high horsepower can still KO, which I really hope it can, we can be sitting real nice here. We can be sitting real nice. Let's go. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. Like I said, we need to get out Dragapult here. Dragapult was our key Pokemon. They still have low kicks. They still have... 
Mm, low kick's probably a sucker punch. They still have slow king. So if low kick's gonna come out here and be annoying, um, we might just want to end up swapping into into what's it called our hip pout on. That's gonna be my play. Low kicks can be annoying. We gotta watch out for Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is probably the player. I know it learns Sucker Punch. I know it does. So I'm gonna swap Dragapult. Play this one nice and slow. And we're gonna go into Hit Pout on here. So I'm gonna set the Sandstorm. So we got Sandstream out and about. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll finally see a Terror type pop out from him. Low kicks? Question mark, question mark. Slow King gets a Terror type. So Slow King's gonna go into the Fighting Terror. I like to put the punchies on me. So Fighting Terror's gonna come out here. That's actually good for like the wing beat. But he's gonna go for first impression instead of Sucker Punch. Gliscor's gonna dodge until Wing Beat's gonna fly. Actually, Gliscor dodged. That's actually massive with Sand Veil. Sand Veil, Bright Powder, doing him dirty. And now Buffets can kind of sit here and just chip away. That's huge. Yawn's gonna fly from Slow King, and it's failing. That is lovely. Why'd it fail? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Oh, I'm already burned. I'm already burned on Hip Out on. Oh my lord. What a turn right there. That's gonna be pretty much game. The Sandstorm combo, getting after it. We're gonna set up a Sand Tomb here. Um, and then on top of that, just the Wing Beat, because I feel like he would want to KO my what's it called first and foremost. Actually, I can do this. I can tail when to make Hip Out on faster, just so we can make sure that we're getting off this uh, Sand Tomb. Because Sand Tomb could actually be detrimental, just like constant stream of damage, and you can't swap out with Buffets and Sand Tomb. And did I just miss it? I admit, I missed Sand Tomb. That kind of hurts the soul. That kind of hurts the soul. At least I'll get another shot. We set up Tailwind with our boy. And that's pretty much game. I mean, I could just bring out Dragapult and wrap this one up, but anyway. Wrap it up. Thanks for playing. Oh, baby. Sandstorm, Sand Tomb coming out here. We got a lot of constant damage, but what a solid match. They had us up against the ropes for a little bit. They were burning my Pokemon with Altaria. They were doing all that good stuff, kind of swapping out in the perfect position. Then I was just like, you know what? We need to get a drag Dragapult. Dragapult's our win condition right here. Let's do it. So I ended up getting him out there, and he picked up big-time damage and big-time KOs. So from here, we're launching Dragon Darts. We're going to go into Sand Tomb, and I would think that they would cancel, but they don't. So instead, we're just going to go crit right here with that, and then leave you on one, and then Hippowdon's going to pick up the KO. Leave you on one, but, you know, Sandstorm and Sand Tomb damage gonna gonna going to KO you, which is awesome. You got Future Sight. That's a cool move. I like Future Sight. I think it's dope, but it's very niche move. You don't see it too often. But Buffett's going to fly. Slow King's going to take its final hit. GG's. We start off today's video 1-0. Moving on to match number two and more and more in Regulation H, MIC, and S Panther. Such a solid Pokemon with speed boost. They also have Olamize, which is a rather decent prankster user. They also have Typhlosion. They got uh, Primarina, Arch Ludon, and Indeedee. Now, Sandstorm going to be a friend of ours, but I feel like uh, Illuminize has some sort of weather control, especially seeing Arch Ludon and Typhlosion on the field. So that could get a little rough. Um, hmm. Who could be good for us? I mean, Houndstone could be solid for lead. We definitely want to bring in Hit Powdown. I could honestly just end up leading you, or I could just go Gliscor. I mean, Gliscor can set up Tailwind, so I kind of want to just go Gliscor and probably hit Powdon. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think we'll just set the Sandstorm right off the rip. Dragapult's going to be a solid Pokemon. And then late game? Who do we want here? For late game. Could be Zoroak, but I mean, Zoroak's got that Choice Scarf. I feel like we need something to deal with this, uh, this Archer Ludon. And we don't have much to deal with the Archer Ludon, which is my big thing. Like, our only special attack is going to be Zoroak. So, you know what? I'm just going to lead Zoroak. Hmm. You know, we're going to lead Zoruk. We're going to lead Zoruk and make him think it's a... Uh... We're going to make him think it's a... Uh... What's it called? Oh, God. We're actually running out of time. You know what? Screw it. No Zoruk today. Actually, back in Zoruk. Just for attacking. We're doing it. We're doing it. I, I'm, I, I ran out of time. I ran out of time. Let me be honest with you guys. I want to lead Zoruk and actually uh, uh, make it a Dragapult. So, in order to do that, I would have to have Dragapult as my last Pokemon and Zoruk as my second or first Pokemon. So it would have been, would have been rough, but we'll deal with it. So Illuminize comes out here alongside with, what is it? Primarina. Okay, so we actually have Dragapult now. Like this is the for real Dragapult. <laughs> like this is Dragon. This isn't Illusion Zork. They could maybe think it's Illusion Zork, but it's not. Um, Primarina is looking a little scary. I could just go Water Terra. 
I'm trying to think about it in the long haul. Water tower is actually really good, so you know what? We're gonna do it. We're just gonna sit here. We're gonna thrash slides. We're gonna go dual wing beat into this slot. So I'll dual wing beat, and I will U-turn pivot out of here into a different Pokemon because I don't feel like taking like a Moon Blast here. So I'm just gonna U-turn pivot into hopefully uh, Pout on here, get rid of the Olamize. And kind of go from there. So we'll Terrasalize Water. We like her Goliath score. And we're looking to rip it to Wing Beat. I could have went for Tailwind, but I, I just think attacking this turn is probably more so in her best interest. We're going to pop in this. Tailwind's going to fly from you. That's fine. And you are actually out speed now. It's like you're going for only a Hyper Voice. We're able to soak that, no problem. Dragon Bolt's gonna U-turn pivot out of here, do respectable damage, and Dual Wing Beat should be able to finish you off. So Dual Wing Beat's gonna finish you off. We are just going to bring out the lovely Hippo. The Hippo is coming out here. So I'm gonna bring out the Hippo. Um And yeah, I'm just gonna look to kind of just pester around, throw out some sand tombs left and right, do all that good stuff. I know I will take a little bit of damage too. Oh, oh luckily we hit, we hit twice. He's got the berry for it. Luckily we hit twice. But Hippowdon's going to take a little bit of damage to Hyper Voice, so that is something you got to take note of. But I'm hoping I can just get off, like, a Sand Tomb and kind of just, like, pester around on that thing. We'll see who they throw out next. Primarina is kind of an annoying Pokemon. Definitely is. I do have to kind of get off a Tailwind here, so I might just protect Hippowdon. Go for Tailwind. And kind of go from there. Let's see who they go into. It's going to be Archlo. Archlo, that's scary. Is that a le it's definitely Electro Shot Arch loot on. Oh, man. I gotta set up Sand Tomb on that thing. Or I could yawn it. I could yawn it. We are just gonna yawn this bad boy. We're gonna yawn this bad boy. We're gonna put this sleep first. First and foremost. So we'll see a Terra type pop out here. It's gonna be Arch loot on. And what typing are you going into? That's a little grass typing. So grass gonna fly out here, which isn't too bad. I mean, we have to put this thing to sleep and put up a sand tomb onto it, and we'll protect their glass core because I think they want to go for electro shot, right? I think they, they really want to. Yeah, there's electro shot. So we're gonna block this up here. We're gonna, you know, yawn this bad boy up. Use its power herb, so it can't drop another electro shot. The problem here is hyper voice is gonna fly through here, which is another slight issue that we have. So, Hyper Voice, how much damage are you doing to hip out on? Not half. Oh, wow. Way more than half. Yawn gonna come through here, though. So, yawn up. You could end up swapping, but our, our main focus here is going to be to popping a Tailwind. We have to pop a Tailwind. So, Arch Ludon's plus one. I could just protect. I'm gonna go for Tailwind. I feel like now's the turn to go for Tailwind. Or, again, I could protect. Who could you swap into? S Pathor, you might have. Typhlosion. I'm still going to go for the Tailwind. I'm going to go Tailwind here. And if they end up wanting to swap, I'm just going to go for a Sand Tomb into this slot. Yeah, they do swap. <clears throat> I should maybe just protect the Hippowdon. No, we're fine. We're fine. If Hippowdon dies, Hippowdon dies. It's fine. It's going to end up going into you. And Hyper Voice is going to fly. Alright. So I see where we stand. Now, this is a little bit of a problem. It's Arch Luna. I mean, I have this Oroch. Kind of just chilling here, which is nice. But Tailwind is going to launch for us, which is really good news. So get off Tailwind. Um, they still have... No, they don't have Terra. Terra's on to the Archer Ludon. Um, I could just go into Zoro here, but I think I'd rather just go into you. I know Dragapult's outspeeded, which is really good news for us. Um, you would outspeed as well. But I need you for Arch Ludon. I That's my problem. I need you for Arch Ludon. Um, ba -ba 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 bam, ba bam. We're just going to go Dragon Ball. I'm going to Phantom Force away here. I have high horsepower, which could do respectable damage. I mean, Dragon Darts will rip up into this, uh, into this Typhlosion. Again, sitting in a very odd position. High horsepower over here. But Phantom Force into the Primarina. And yeah, I think I am going to Phantom Force into Primarina. 
So he's gonna protect you. Fine by me. Gosh, how much HP are you at? I can't even see it. I'm gonna Phantom Force away. Don't figure going for Moonblast. Moonblast would be awesome. Because your Tailwind should end this next turn. Your Tailwind should end this next turn. Hyper Voice is gonna launch. Can you soak this guy? I would love to have you for one more turn. You don't. Alright. So you don't end up soaking that. And from here, I mean, we have to go into, obviously, our choice scarfed Zoroak. And everybody's taking Buffet. So Buffets fly out onto the field. The problem here is, I think my Dragapult dies out either way. Huh. We gotta go Shadow Ball on this slot. I'm gonna Shadow Ball you. And just have Phantom Force fly into the Prima Arena. Archeleon's the main problem here. And it's not looking good for your boy. It is not looking good. You could end up just like hard swapping type voice near, which he doesn't. I mean, Zork's gonna outspeed. Hit this thing with Shadow Ball. Are we KOing? We are KOing, which is massive. You absolutely love that. And how much damage is Phantom Force doing? Choice Band, by the way. It's KOing. Hold up. Give me a second. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. So now it turns to a 2v1, which we have the speed for. Sandstorm's gone. We outspeed this Arch Ludon. It was not looking good for us, but by Zoro clutching up with that big time one hit KO. Same thing with Dragapult. And they go into Arch Ludon, the biggest threat on the field. Best part about this is, can you guys see what the best part about this is? Two ghost types. You can't body press me. Leave me alone. You can't body press me. All right, so U-turn's not stab. It is super effective, though. Um, I could just start spamming this. Hyper Voice isn't bad, I mean. But thing is, Shadow Ball has a chance of dropping special defense. Which is really good for us. He knows we're fan enforcing, though. Um, u turn will do a bit more damage than Shadow Ball. Are we looking for damage, or are we looking for... That's physical attacking, though. We're gonna go for Shadow Ball. We're gonna actually look for the special defense drop. Would love to get it. So I'm gonna go Shadow Ball into the slot. I'm gonna Phantom Force away here. Hopefully he's attacking Dragapult. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't, but great damage from the Zoroak. Beautiful damage from the Zoroak. And I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. The only way he would win this match is if he uh, KOs my Zoroak in one shot, which I don't think you, you have the mustard to do. You almost had enough mustard to, to do it. That was, that was a lot of damage. And I just realized I can't even go into U-turn. I'm choice scarfed. What was I even thinking? So I'm spamming U-turn. Phantom Force actually hits through Protect, so we're chunking up a little bit more damage here. Which is good news for us. And Zorok should just be able to finish this match off with its next Shadow Ball. So, wow, we pulled that one out. We pulled that one out. I'm surprised by myself. I'm surprised on that. And Phantom Force, even through that defense bulk, just picking up a KO. So, my Pokemon hitting like an absolute truck. We're sitting 2 0. Final match on its way, and we're going up against Porygon Z and Klefki. Two dope Pokemon. I really like both those Pokemon, but two very strong Pokemon. Klefki is a great prankster user. Porygon Z is a great special attacker. Now, one thing I do notice is no weather, which means Hippowdon can come in here for the lead, and we can really thrive out with him and Gliscor and look to just kind of like pester around, kind of like how we tried to do it in match number one. But we're going to be bringing Houndstone in the back end, and last but not least, got to be the pole. Got to be the pole. The pole is just ridiculously strong you guys seen it in match number one you guys seen it in match number two but i don't know how i won that last match i feel like the opponent just like had our backs up against the wall the whole time and then like i pulled out zoroak i one tapped i phantom force one tapped and the game just turned from there it was just like okay now we got a shot now we get, just got a 2v1 this arch ludon which we kind of did no problem i mean bringing that uh zoroak by itself was just an absolute beast it really was hitting like a truck that shadow ball half an hp of arch ludon that's awesome Whenever you're doing half damage to Arch Ludon, you know you're in a good spot. You know you're in a good spot. But 2-0. Oh, we'd love to grab ourselves a perfect 3-0 record. And looking to do it here. And I like your chance here, considering, like, I feel like I could just set up these sand tubes and kind of just be annoying. Sand tomb, yawn, put him to sleep, more sand tomb damage just all day long. But Klefki going to come out here with PZ. Now, PZ, obviously, is a scary Pokemon. It probably has Ice Beam. So I kind of just want to, like, Terrestrialize here. I think I am going to end up terrestrializing. And not you. I, I think I just want to go into probably a yawn here into PZ. And then just like terrestrialize and set up this tailwind. I think having a speed could be really good for us. So 
That's my player. I feel like PC does rock Ice Beam. Usually it rocks like Tri Attack. It could be Choice Spec. Usually rocks like Tri Attack, Hyper Beam, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. It's like somewhere along the lines of those four moves. So I'm going to say that the, the fact that they have Ice Beam is is here. So I'm just going to end up Thrasalizing you into straight water. And Sunny Day is going to fly. You got Sunny Day, Klefki. How dare you? Lose my Sand Veil action. Terrible ass going to fly here. And this is still going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. All right. Glass, we're going. <laughs> this one. No. All right. Glasgow we're gone. It's weird. Where's Klefki? Oh, there it is in the top right-hand corner. Why is Klefki up so high? Why is it floating that high? Look at how high Klefki is. Why is it up that high? But, okay. I can bring out Dragapult. I did yawn the, uh, the PZ, which is good. And I think from here, we are just going to go Dragapult. We're going to hard swap Houndstone. Well, not Houndstone. We're going to hard swap in Houndstone and swap out the Hippowdon. So I bring out the pull. Um... Do I just go for Sand Tomb over in this slot? I think they're going to end up swapping the, uh, the Porygon Z. So I'm just going to rip a Dragon Darts and have Sand Tomb just start chipping up as much as I want to hard swap the Paladon. I think they are going to swap the PZ here. Yeah, they do. So two Dragon Darts are going to be flying out into this slot. And it's going to be Serena over here, which isn't bad. And Sand Tomb's going to go into the Klefki, which Klefki might just set up like a Reflect here. Kind of be annoying. Yeah. The Klefki sets up the Reflect. We'll swap the Paladon next turn. And we'll set up a Sand Tomb in the Klefki, which is really good for us. And we got a crit there. Oh, baby. We might just be KOing this thing. Later. Awesome. Yo, Dragon Bolt <laughs> doing damage today. Doing damage. On top of that, Sand Tomb is going to launch, which is awesome. It is going to land. And now we're just sitting here pestering. So we got some pester damage. Quick Sand trapping him. Um, good thing about this is Terra Blast cannot hit. My Dragapult right now, which is really big. It's really big. And it kind of makes me think that he's choiced into that. So he wants to choice into Ice Beam here. Um, we do outspeed, which is really nice. I could just go for the Yawn, but you know what? I want that weather, so I'm going to swap into Houndstone here. And I'm just going to launch two Dragon Darts into this PZ slot. Two Dragon Darts. Hopefully they just leave Klefki on the field. I don't know why it's floating so high. It's kind of annoying me at this point, but hopefully they leave Klefki on the field. And they're just going to end up protecting PZ, which is fine. I mean, I get the swaps, and I can eventually swap my Dragapult here as well. So, Dragon Dart's going to get blocked. It's going to miss. Foul Play is... we got Foul Play. Luckily, we were able to soak that. We were able to soak up Foul Play. Um, could save the pull. We don't know their final Pokemon, though. We do not know their final Pokemon. And is Sandstorm damage doesn't pass around on th on the Klefki? I didn't see it happening. Hold up. Are you not trapped? You don't you don't get trapped? That's a little odd. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Now we're gonna stay in here with Dragapult. I'm actually gonna double down to this PZ. We're doubling down to PZ. Gonna withdraw PZ. Alright, so he's saving his Porygon. He's sitting here saving it. And DD's gonna fly out here. We got Play Rough, we got Dragon Darts launching that slot. There is a hot chance that we just KO this bad boy. Foul Play is gonna KO my uh my Dragon Bolt. We already know this is happening. But at the cost of Indeedy would be great. Oh wow, even through wow. Wow, the, the damage goes crazy. Like you have reflect up. You have Reflect up. We're just dealing this damage. Player off going to launch. And of course, Klefki dodged it. I always miss player offs. Foul play is going to end up KOing me. I'm going to bring out Weather. Oh, you went after Houndstone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So he ends up going after Houndstone. You're going to end up protecting PZ and just trying to KO pull. I would, th I would, I would think. And at this point, I'm going to go last respects and swap into my hip out on. So I'm gonna save my pole. I'm gonna save my pole here. Um, Pound, I'm gonna fly out here. If I can get off a yawn in the PZ, that'd be nice. Sandstream gonna get after it. And he's just gonna protect the PZ like we, like we knew he was doing already. Like we already knew what was happening. Last respects launching. How much damage are we doing? Another last respects will KO and they end up foul playing to hit Pound on. Hold up. 
Wait a minute, we should be potentially fine here. I mean, that thing just took, uh, it's gonna take buffets, and it is taking, uh, Rocky Helmet damage. But Lancer Specs can fly, pick up the KO onto you, and then I should just be able to yawn this PZ down. Unless you're rocking Ice Beam, like I thought you would in the beginning. I think you're choice. I oh, know you're not choice. You're protecting out here. I wonder what he got cooking here. We still have Dragapult. Rain Dance gonna fly. Again, if I could just pick up this Yawn, that'd be nice. But you're just gonna actually KO this uh, Houndstone, so that goes out the picture. The Houndstone dies out here. We do get off a of Yawn, so next turn, PZ is slumped. PZ slumped next turn. Reflect's gone. And I get to bring out Pult. Now, the thing is with Pult, um, there's no shot that they end up protecting. I think the thing is with Pult is we kind of just got to use it to KO this uh, Klefki. And I don't even think you turn wood. We got to go Phantom Force into Klefki. So I'm going to Phantom Force Klefki just dip out of the situation. And I'm just going to try to throw a Sand Team here just to have Pester damage onto this PZ. Who's just going to protect and go to sleep. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's just gonna protect, go to sleep. We are dipping out of here. I think you want to go for foul play. And yeah, we should be able to win this match now. Dragon Pulse dodging. Awesome. Wow, 3 0 perfect record. It's looking like it. I might have just jinxed it. Hold up, give me a second. I take it back. I take it back. So, Porygon Z is now slumped night night. Phantom Force is going to finish you off. And then we just set up this Sand Tomb. Have Sand Tomb damage just chipping around. Just chipping around. Which is massive, yeah. Everything that I want to do today. Reflect comes back out. And Phantom Force launches. Bye bye, Klefki. Get on out my face. So Klefki's dumped on. PZ's guaranteed to be asleep this turn. Dragapult can't even attack it anymore. Let's be honest here. And Sandtoon does launch. And actually does respectable damage with a crit. And now we get it trapped in quicksand. Quicksand trapping him. Quicksand is all traps. Now from here, I mean, we got to click Phantom Force. And I'm just going to go for a slack off and go back up with the full HP. So I think he's just going to be asleep this turn one more time. If he wakes up here, that could be a little rough. So I'm going to vanish. We're going to do absolutely nothing to him. And P PZ is still asleep. So I'm going to slack off, go back to full HP. Probably just protect and slow play this one out. Sand Tomb. Oh, yeah. Sand Tomb's ripping. Sand Tomb's ripping. So, honestly, from here, we probably... Hmm. Should we attack? I think we just protect. I think we just protect quite safe. Let the Sand Tomb chip away. Let it do its job. This is this is what we wanted the whole time. Phantom Force is going to launch. going to do absolutely nothing. Hopefully, the Duck is attacking Dragapult. And he's just going to be a three-turn sleep. So, that's going to be game, set, match. That is going to be game set match considering he has no double hitting moves and one more sand tomb will just put this thing to rest. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Great match. Phantom Force here. We'll go for sand tomb just in case he can't one tap us. And let's see what he goes for. I, I've been thinking he had ice beam this whole time and I haven't seen it. I haven't seen ice beam. PC is going to wake up here. He is going to go for a hold up. Okay. Luckily, Hippowdon dodged the attack. Hyper beam would have flew through there, but sand tomb... Would have picked up the KO regardless. So yeah, we would have won that one no problem. We go 3-0 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Off meta Sandstorm team with Houndstone, Glyscore, and Hippowdon. This team was a ton of fun to use. Glyscore great with the Sand Veil. Houndstone great with the Sand Rush. And then Hippowdon great as a Sandstorm setter. Dragapult was a huge part of this team. Pretty much the glue that kept it all together because it's such a good uh, physical attacker. Kind of helping us get the damage output while the other Pokemon kind of do the other work. So again, this team was amazing. And I'm super glad we were able to grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.